Well, 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 welcome to the Architects of Fate streaming extravaganza. That's right, you found the self-proclaimed original Twitch TTRPG stream that lets you shake up our world. Now pay attention because this is how it works. If you'd like to add some loops to this roller coaster ride of the show, you're gonna need fake chips. Now these magical loyalty points can be earned just by watching, following, posting, subscribing, or just engaging with us in the chat. It's like free money, Pete. With your fate chips, you can use your powers as an architect to heal your favorite players, summon items that will make their adventure a lot easier, or a lot harder. You can even make players say or sing outrageously silly things. Think of those possibilities. But, but wait, 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 there is more. You can also toss our unsuspecting heroes into random encounters that will leave them sweating, strategizing, and questioning their life choices. All it takes is a quick redeem command in the chat. You choose the item or action and the player you want to mess with, and we'll take it from there. So sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a mind-blowing spectacle of storytelling and mayhem. We've got adventure, we've got drama, and more surprises than a clown car at a kid's birthday party. So let's go! Oh, hello, all you architects of fate. I think it's time we talked about words. They can help you. They can hurt you. But one can change everything. Will the crew find out what hurts them and what helps them? Or will they be reopening old wounds? Uh, that was from Chad GPT. I have no idea if it means anything or not, but uh, I want to welcome you to this second episode of Star Trek Sykes. And uh, with me tonight, I'd like to go through the uh, the cast. Uh, Rufus, what you doing? Hello. So uh, I'm here. I'm Rufus. I'm going to be playing uh, Yeoman Weeman, who is an Elorian and uh, maybe having some issues. Okay, and um, Good Devil Inc. Aside from moving into a new house, what else are you doing? Uh, tonight we'll be playing uh, the, the part of Commodore Sivek, the uh, former uh, chief engineer of Captain Sykes, now put on assignment to see if he's fit for the chair. Okay, and then uh, welcome for the your your first session in this universe. Um, Super, super camp. Yeah, I'm uh, 
playing the role of Chief Medical Officer Sutox. I am a Denobulan who um, originally began his career sort of in the Star Trek motion picture era, late, um, late toss, early TMP. And um, he's about 300 years old, and he also had a bit of a time dilation issue as well. So he's here in the, in the 25th century now, I think. He's very old, so sometimes he gets his dates confused. But um, he is the chief medical officer now on board the vessel. I believe that the cannon uh, police will come and beat the hell out of you in chat. So, <laughs> uh, and, I'm sure uh, they will. Cannon volleys away. And that, uh, do you want to just give a, give a quickie on yourself? Yeah, but I, I'm on camera. Uh, well, you're, that's why oh, you're off right. camera. Okay. Yeah. I'm Commander Ball, the computer now. Okay, and finally, uh, the person who renegotiated his contract and requested and required uh, all scripts follow his personal um, uh, predilections, uh, Mr. S Captain Sykes. Hey, Pwn Donkey's here, and I'm playing Captain Sykes, and I just need to know, did Flo ever get her legs? Do you know? Do you know? I can't, <laughs> I don't, it's so long ago. Yeah, that was that was when the show was more serious. Oh yeah, yeah, it was way more serious. You guys actually cared. Didn't we uh, that... loop a snoot and make a Ouija board to communicate between realms? Yeah, but it took us a full thirty minutes to get there. <laughs> that was just deciding on the icons. Uh, Wasn't so there a poop I... emoji? Yes, I believe so. It was right next to the batleth. Your Honor, I rest my case. <laughs> uh, what I want to do is let's get you all in the Star Trek mood. Let's see if you were paying attention to what we did last week. Uh, so we're going to put up a thing in, cha in, uh, in chat. We're going to put up a uh, quiz. Last time on Star Trek Sykes. Simple question. What was the name of the ship? Uh, was it the USS Fan Service? The Can PBS Pledge Break? The USS Sykes? It's a fucking dumb name. Uh, USS <laughs> Yet Another Enterprise, or uh, the fa the one that we were pretty sure chat suggested was Shippy McShip Base. Um, can I can I take back what it is because there's a better one up up there. All of them are better than what it is, but no. <laughs> I've, uh, I've already I look I've colored things in the answer slide. We can't do that. Uh, so what I'd like to do is go ahead and, and vote in the chat and, and vote early, vote often. And while you're doing that, um, what I want you to do is uh, possibly uh, lend your ears because we have to pay the bills. And it's going to be with this commercial. Hi there. Do you seek confidence? Do you seek sex appeal? Do you want to be the warmth? Well, do I have something for you? Great hair makes for great office of officer of 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 officers. <laughs> so don't just be content carrying your reports to your super your super super iors and have nothing ever happen to you. Come to Mott's and let us show you the tapestry of your life. And can, uh, uh, your life can change with, with a good head of hair. Offer may require parthenogenic cardiac implant. Tapestry. Take that, Tap Take that cannon, people. What? Ta tapestry. I, yeah, see, I, yeah. see what you did. I see what you did there. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad that... Uh... You and I have a very, we, you and I have a very great relationship, just like me and Johnny do. You know, I, I, I'm I prefer a honey. I prefer a honeydew, to to be honest. Yes, cantaloupe's okay. Cantaloupe's okay, but we could have a, a, a bit of a we we could have a we have a history, and uh, you know maybe it's a future, maybe it's uh, your future even. But either way, uh, basically the a name that was the name of the ship was the USS Sykes. I really want it to be another Enterprise. 
not like just USS Enterprise. Its its name is USS Another Enterprise. Uh, we will now make that so. And we could we could call it YAE for short. Okay, you princess, come on. Like, come on. You have, you have to say it's like a pack lid, because I believe that was the joke. Right? No, if no. Are you saying that to me? No, no, kitten, kitten. She yeah, wants I, she she wants either to sit yeah, in my lap or also destroy everything. I do I do remember when you called me kitten uh, <laughs> when we were in my void. But uh, while you, the rest of the crew, is uh, battling with whatever it was that happened last week, since we need change the name of the ship, we can easily change uh, whatever happened last week. Um, because what's happening this week is someone is in med bay. Chief Medical Officer's Log, Commander Sutox reporting, Stardate 78143.10. Seems like a doctor's work is never done, and it never gets boring, even after 300 years. I only wish that the other chief medical officer, Commander Quill McRaven, would be able to pick up the slack from time to time. But being in Saldir, he can't be around sick people. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> but I must confess, I am distracted by the news from Starfleet Medical, of which I was recently head. And, and so you get to reveal the news from Starfleet Medical. That was left intentionally open. Oh, dear God. <laughs> yeah, that's up to you. That's all on you. Uh, you, can, you can just uh, now go about treating patients. Who, who wants to be who and uh, have an ailment and maybe an adjective? I mean, I know who I want to be, but I, I, I'll, let, I'll let everyone else pick first before I... Don't no, one, no, 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 no one wants to jump. Don't, don't, don't jump in first. I, I'll just stand here with my hypo spray. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tobel Smeagan. I was going to go with Tobel Smeagan it is. Oh, no, you see, we talk like this. Like got a the guy idea. from Star Wars. Oh, there's two of them. Idea. There's two of them. No! <laughs> this is uh, perfect. No, it's Talbot Smeagan the third. Oh, no. Or no, hold on. <laughs> Give one of them glasses. Here we go. The seventh and the fourth. Uh, I will work on glasses. Why are you making me do these things? <laughs> why did you make me hit you? Why, why are you hitting yourself? I can't. I can't stop. I can't stop. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, so, yeah. so do I? Do I need? I need a. Uh, I need a, a. A trait, and I need an ailment. Uh, yes, and also one of them is. Uh, one of them's wearing a weird badge. That's how you tell them apart. Ah, uh, yeah. Got this in another universe. <laughs> how many d sixes do I need to roll for this amulet? It's gonna be some d sixes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've got this. Look, I've got the four. Let's not start that shit this early. Shall no, we? no, 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 no. You go away. You you go away. Q, get back here. Uh, back here. But there we go. I never left. I Good. never left. Um, but yes, tell, I forget who's the fourth and who's the seventh. I mean, the fourth was the original, so I'll take I'll take it. I jumped on it. No one else wanted it. Okay. Who's taking the seventh and who's taking the uh, the furry animal? I'll be the fourth. Oh. Okay. I guess I'll I guess I'll be the the seventh. You must come from the southern continent. I can tell by your accent. Uh, uh, why do you keep pretending like you don't know me? <laughs> right, we're the only two of our race on this ship. Oh, I keep forgetting. Uh, and you, you, we're in here because you gave me this STI. <laughs> How did you not be prepared for that? I, Why were you caught off guard? Uh, I mean, uh, just look at me. I got particles everywhere where they shouldn't be. Bro, oh, you know I'm allergic to water, so I can't wash. 
can't take you anywhere. So let me uh, get uh, this straight. Doctor, uh, okay, my, you see, my, my, what would that be? Great, great, great grandpapa has apparently never heard of a sonic shower. Yeah, I was going to say, let me get this straight. You you use water still? I haven't I haven't taken a shower with water since the last time I was on Rigel's 12. Oh, that's part they, of they my didn't allow, they didn't allow sonic they didn't allow shon, sonic showers there because their ears are hypersensitive. We have to be a certain humidity at all times. Yeah, otherwise we get dry and flaky. And you wouldn't like us when we're flaky. No, I don't like many flaky things. So you're day is reporting this as as an ST, you're reporting this to me as an STD. No, uh, I believe he said STI, and I am his great <laughs> grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> And what and this amulet you have looks vaguely familiar to me, but I'm not sure why. Hmm. Did this begin happening once you had this strange amulet? This thing's been in my family for generations. I see. So it, it wasn't just coincidence. it was just coincidence then that you have it now and you also have this STI now. Whoa, I, mean, I just got I gotta set the stage for myself because I just got on board and of course McCraig and McCraven isn't here to fill me in on these these uh, familial relationships yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, your, our culture is very, very strange. It's no wonder that we're the only two of us in Starfleet. Well, that's probably true. <laughs> we also bunk together. <laughs> well, that could explain how this happened, because I just can't imagine any other way it could spread than through some sort of contact. Perhaps not the kind of contact that we think of with STIs, but that's for me to research. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, see, um, uh, uh, great, 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 uh, perhaps you should explain to him, uh, like, it's not what he thinks. No, no, it's not, see, it's not a sexual thing, no, it's all about, uh, religion, yeah. Yeah, uh, and... I see. See, uh, being a Denobulan, you know, I get confused because we have multiple wives and a lot of sexual things going on. So, you know, there are quite a few Denobulan STIs in the universe, sort of out in the wild. Well, in our case, it's, a, it's as simple as a... Uh, uh, well, it, you know how humans have uh, hemorrhoids? Yes. Well, great, 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 Papa has space squid hemorrhoids. They're very easy to spread if you don't clean up after yourself. Yes, I can see that. As I said before, my religion prevents me from doing any kind of strenuous activity like bathing. <laughs> it helps that I'm allergic to water. <laughs> it's it's good that there are two of you in this on this vessel because otherwise someone else would have to bunk with an unclean person. I'm gonna. I, I'm all about that. cleanliness, so there's there must be some loophole in your religion that can allow us to get you cleaned up. At this Incense, point. lots of patchouli. Um, you got any, Doc? I can get some, but. It, not usually the way I treat patients. I, I really need to make sure that you're clean if I have to do any kind of surgery or anything. You can't just, you know, allow grime and grease and other filth into a surgical cut. That would be dangerous. Although we do have pretty good antibiotics here in Starfleet. Well, it's a good thing I don't work in surgery. I work in the galley. Arr. 
Oh, that makes that makes me really happy. <laughs> I, I imagine my uh, Denovulin sausage that I ordered is uh, probably going to just sit cold in my quarters today. <laughs> Oh, every piece of sausage that comes aboard this vessel, I touch with my own hands to inspect it for any kind of imperfections. Computer, how many people have eaten sausage today? Uh, hold on. We have a computer. Hold on. One hundred and oh yeah, we do. You all wake up, Bob. <laughs> Oh no! Hey, doctor. Bridge. Doctor. Bridge. This is sick bay. Doctor. Yes. I've got a Who's tum- I've got a tummy ache. I'm sitting right here. Oh, oh. I've got a really bad tummy <laughs> ache. My my mom told me to come and see you because my my stomach is really hurting bad. All right, let me check you out. I, I, I'll run a fine burger over him and. Okay, uh, wave a light over it. You need a medical and uh, control. And uh, right. it's difficulty two. I don't know what your specialities is. We're using character sheets, folks. First time for everything. No, yep, I've got one. Yep. As do I. As do I. Now, I, I do have some specialties, but he uh, doesn't do look think? like a horda. No. Oh, he does I'm like not a horda. No, I can tell that. Your quarters are very clean. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we get here. Ooh. They are not low numbers. We only, need to, hear, we only need to hear a 20. A 20. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yes. So uh, that's a consequence. I'm here for the chaos. I'm here for the chaos. Uh, at this point, where is chat? Uh, is chat anywhere near active? Chat, we now Break. have... Pokey, pokey. Pokey, pokey, chat. Pokey, pokey. Uh, we now have a consequence uh, that comes from the attempted diagnosis or there's a new complication that uh, XB12 has uh, in addition to the tummy ache. Oh, give him something else besides a tummy ache, but equally is like infantile. Oh. I was gonna say, oh, look how cute he is. He has cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Space cancer. The the one of the many incurable diseases in the future he has a syndrome. Syndromes you can't be recovered from. Diseases, sure, but not syndromes. Okay, chat's not doing uh, diddly squat. Uh, I'm going to That's a challenge chat. You should cha- you should take offense. Challenge is is uh, is not accepted by them. Uh, what I am going to say is, um, oh, where is it? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw something up. Give me a sec. It's on a cookie track, and it's not blowing away any of my stuff, so that's good. Um, there is uh, here it is. Adversity, uh, adversity suffering XP. You have a disease that you have something wrong with you that involves adversity suffering. Like you're suffering from adversity. Adversity. Like you just can't break through that glass ceiling. Oh yeah. You could have psychological trauma. Uh, He talks, uh, you assign it to him. Um, Well, I'm an XB, you know, and well, not many people like us. That really makes my stomach hurt even more. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, really think you should probably see the ship's counselor in addition to me. I have um, this this Mylocon derivative that I can give you for the stomach pain, but I don't know how to fix your, your, your mental trauma. That is something that's serious and can be debilitating. So we need to get you to start seeing the ship's counselor if people are not treating you the way you should be treated. This is a Federation vessel, so I'm really shocked that people would give you that kind of grief. Well, Mom Good. says they shouldn't, but they do. Yeah, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. 
Hey, Cowboy. Hey, it's Sean. that weird looking fr- freak of an XB over there. Hey, hey, Doc, I'm itching in places I shouldn't be scratching in public settings. There, it started right, ever me, since that thing walked in. Let me give you a let me give you a sedative and see if that can help with the itching. Okay, is it gonna hurt? No, for you, I'm giving you the the stomach medicine, the oh. Mylocon derivative. Oh, is it gonna hurt? It's an old it's an old Earth remedy, but it seems to work in, in smaller people. I'm small. <laughs> I'm really small. For adults. For adults, it's a Mylanta derivative, but for youths, it's a Mylocon derivative. Okay. Okay, let's try let's try medicine and control one more time. The thing that you're good at. Yeah, the so thing the... that should have been. <laughs> my God, okay, hit it out of the park, people! I'm keeping my All robot right, fingers crossed. See. All right, this time it's a lower number, a seven. Okay, you you do roll two and... dice. Yeah, the other one is a is a ten, so it's right in the middle. Okay, perfect. Uh, so yeah, you do you do manage to treat uh, tummy trouble successfully. Um, we do not have a ship's counselor. Ah, do I have um, to do everything? Not. Oh my god! Yeah, pretty much. Uh, we have a, we have a suggest... we have a, a a yeoman who's great at listening. Well, we have a yeoman that can listen. That could I think suffice. That, I think the XP twelve and the yeoman need to get together. I, well, oh, that, good, that, that, that's going to be great. <laughs> that could probably suffice because you know, I don't have time to sit down with all the crew. But if somebody is good at listening and good at taking notes, then I can make psychiatric decisions based on those conversations once I read them over. Okay. So I, I uh, assign that task to the yeoman if I can. As CMO, I can sometimes give orders without the captain's approval. So, you know, medical necessity well, and all that. I think you should be given orders even with the captain's approval. I, was say, I'm, I'm, um, I, I, I think the, I, I speak for the captain when I say he probably just wants you to run your sick bay and uh, leave him out of it. All right. You you you're you're in the spot for a reason. Do it. Excellent. Have you got any lolly and speaking, uh, and speaking of the captain, I I want to <laughs> um I'm going to hail the bridge. Bridge, this is Sutox and Sick Bay. Aren't aren't Let we st- aren't we still in the um uh yeah, he cargo bay? <laughs> we can decide. So so he's going to he's going to ring the bridge. Um, it's going to be a bunch Edna, of random Edna's, other people. Edna's up there. Edna's no, the uh, Oh yeah, Edna's there. The, Edna's there. Go go for it, Edna. Awesome. <laughs> this is Commander Sutak. So I, I, I gotta, I gotta bring Edna down because you need to see the visual. There we go. Excellent. She is, she is exactly this person. Edna, this is Commander Sutak, and I've been treating a, a couple of, um, well, Talbot Smegan the Fourth and Talbot Smegan the Seventh. Oh my! And they, they have a disease that could potentially be spreading among the crew. Um, I guess Talbot Smegan the fourth uh, handles a lot of food preparation on board. Well, he's the handsome and, one. And, well, yeah, I, I guess so. I guess so. Um, and he said that he had been taking care of some sausages and I had the ship's computer run a correlation of um, crew members who happened to eat sausage today and we're up to 15. So if people oh, can no. report report any unusual feelings of illness to me, that would be greatly appreciated. My handling wasn't strictly just sausages either. Uh, I like to handle a nice courgette every once in a while too. All right. So this could be potentially a shipwide emergency so i'm gonna i'm gonna at this point need to put all medical personnel on standby even even the sick one well i can send out an email uh or whatever we call it now i can send out a message to everyone saying if they have had some distress intestinal or otherwise they should contact you yes Affirmative. I'd love to say that. 
That that's a good word. I like affirmative. It's much more clear than most affirmations. Yes, I'm gonna say it again. Affirmative. <laughs> hey, uh, not to tell you how to do your job, but you should probably tell them to also look up for the barnacles. I, I find that part's pretty obvious. Okay. Oh yes, that that's a good point. So Edna, they they should particularly look for something that looks like a barnacle on their their nether realms. Okay, that ends with C L E and not C E L, I think. Yes, I believe it does. It depends, I suppose, on if you're spelling it in Federation standard or something else. I'll do spell check. All right, Sue talks out. Bye bye. So I'm going to call you for a new seven, <laughs> just to, you know, give you guys a little a little uh, break from me trying to pronounce your names. I find that horribly insensitive, but I also understand it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so for since you're the the elder. What do they do on your planet for this particular disease? Are there treatments for it? I, I, I've i never treated no, one. Those of us that aren't in there that don't care for the old ways just bathe. He, he says it's against our religion. It's religion to do it. Usually we just scrape them off into a big old stew pot. It really stew brings pot. out the flavor. Oh. Well, I do like sampling many foods, but I don't think I would like that particular flavor. Just a gut feeling. Oh, Let's you'll make... definitely get a good old gut feeling after a good old bowl of this stew. <laughs> I bet I, you could probably replace the warp the warp core with some of those feelings. Oh, so it'll I... make you go real so, fast. XB12, how's that Mylocon derivative coming? How's your stomach feeling? I'm feeling better, thank you. But a lollipop will make you feel even better. Well, let me see if we can get one out of the ship's replicator. Oh. I'll, I'll see if I can. Is there a, there must be a replicator somewhere down here. So I'll look around for one. What flavor of lollipops do you like? Cherry. All right. Cherry, sucker shape on a stick. Cold. Uh, you're talking, Q. You're muted. I don't want to be muted. Damn it. Uh, the, a, a, a stick stuck through the, the, uh, through the uh, hub of a cylindrical cherry appears, and you're ready to go. All right. Here you go, Commander XB. Ball has, Commander Ball has been very literal in his interpretation of how the uh, replicator should work. All right. Well, that's that. As long as it tastes like a cherry, cherry lollipop, that's good. Okay. Thank you. So I'll give. You're welcome. All right. So seven, you're telling me that most of the people in your your planet and your your culture just bathe to take care of this situation. So why are you here and not just bathing? Uh, well, it, it, that's what prevents it. It's not what cures it. Ah. Okay, it's preventative. So what, what I'm looking for is a cure, and I'm sure the ship's computer may be able to look it up, but oh, I, I, uh, I, I kind of like, I'm not really a, a holistic doctor, but I do like to take, I'm culturally sensitive, so rather than just impose some, you know, confangled technological medication on you, I'd rather hear what what your people do, and then I can get a derivative from that. I like to do derivatives. I was, at one time, I thought I'd be a ship's mathematician, so derivatives are part of my bag. Okay, well, uh, I was actually maybe hoping for some of that technical, fancy, fancy nonsense, because usually all we do is, uh, uh, you know, uh, take a, a you know, one of those spatula things that you patch drywall with and just plunk them off. Yeah. Uh. And it's, so it's it's very painful. Yeah, I can imagine. You could probably be 
sedate it while the scraping occurs to avoid some of that pain. Oh, yes, yes, I, I could, I could, yes. Just make sure that I get any of the barnacles when you're done, Doctor. I've got a potluck that I need to go to next week. Well, that depends on if I determine that this can be a cross-species issue, because oh. if, if we start getting other crew members with barnacles... We're going to have to have some sort of a, a quarantine, and, and no barnacles can come anywhere near food preparation. And then we won't have to go to Squid's Mess, where he make, all, makes us eat his barnacle soup. Yes, we can't have the Smeagan family recipe getting out into the hands of any lowly ensign. I want to switch over to auxiliary engineering oh, and please. Gorpal. Uh, I forgot who Corwin was. Do you now? Uh, Corporal, what were you trying to do? Do you remember? What were you trying to do with... Uh, oh, yeah. So... Uh, next glass ham. Oh, uh, well, I, I forget why I had the ham. Last thing I remember was... Uh, well, instead of having to go inoculate the entire staff... Uh, individually, I was here to atomize the, the the vaccine and put it into the life support system. Yep. So you were going to convince uh, Corwin to, I think you convinced Corwin to let you have access to the controls? If I recall correctly. Yeah. I don't remember who was playing Corwin. I don't either. I don't think we actually had him doing anything. Uh Cameron, can I ask you? We need two things about Corwin. He never stops talking about how much he can bench. He Got does. It. He does look like a bench press guy, doesn't he? Um, I can't tell from his uniform what what division is he in engineering. I would go with uh, I no, actually, uh, it's dark gray. So I would go with he's section thirty one. Okay. And they're just open about it now because everybody knows. Okay. But they still, everybody has to pretend it's a secret organization, but everybody seems to know about it. It's like the Masons. So then maybe one of his traits is he wants Section 31 to be in charge. So he would prefer to give the order to atomize this stuff. Okay, so he needs to give orders, and then uh, what's the other thing that he, he is? An, ad, an adjective. Uh, Jack, uh, always always talking about Lifton. Yeah. Especially he talks about Lifton. Okay, uh, Gorpal, you're making a move toward the, the panel to do a thing. Yeah. Uh, Corwin, you've got a thing. I also have yeah. a hand. I don't know why. That's the, the other CMO's hand that you were using to give injections. Oh. Yeah, that has the mini replicators and stuff in it. Yeah, dude, it's weird. Just just, yeah, just um, go with it. I don't know why I'm surprised with you. I, I, I can't wait to get, uh, have to, uh, or to be called to, uh, uh, to Med Bay and have to apply the new... Um, vaccination or whatever cure is going to get rid of Barnacle City over here. Yeah, you can you can move you can move on to that if you want. Um, and uh, Senig Tobex uh, Pound, I'd like you to take that. Yeah, uh, you need to pick a couple of things. You'd, yeah, and I would say just yes. Uh huh. Mm, how may I be of service to you today? Am I the computer? Am, 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 am. I think you just, I think you just, uh, you just breezed in, and you're you're standing by the console, just mm. leaning up against it, all nonchalant. Mm, you two gentlemen seem to be getting about just dandy. Um. Yeah. Thanks. And um. and see. 
And sink. Um, you, guys, you guys all sucked that bad. Uh, so what's going to happen now? They can't going, all be winners. Uh, they can't all be winners. I like the idea that we have the three most uninteresting people <laughs> on the ship <laughs> in a single room. <laughs> And that's how we're going to actually. Uh, that's what we'll do. We'll that, actually. It would be it like dead way. air, you know, like you just it, <laughs> dead air. That's just probably air. Uh, yeah. that's probably what? more like what lower decks really should be, rather than the yes. very interesting characters that are on there. Well, I I very much liked the uh, the the through the we douche closing credits where they you got to see them on other groups. Um. So what has happened, uh, Sykes? <clears throat> oh, by the way, you do get uh, CMO. You get a, a an urgent request to report to uh, Shuttle Bay Three because uh, uh, biocontainment has broken, and apparently my my red alert sound didn't come through to anybody. Oh, it did. Um, it did. I heard it. I think everyone just. I thought everyone just I, ignored everyone it. Everyone just ignored it. Yeah. I I thought it was about the medical emergency I was dealing with in in sick bay. So I just figured they they decided to do a red alert announcement for the barnacles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess they're gonna, yeah, that's true. I, that would have touched up the shipwide. Email I mean, she did say shipwide email, so you know, she just pushed the red button for send. I like the idea that they're now how many how many people are replying all on it. <laughs> um so what we got is i'm gonna i'm just gonna haul you in with a med kit um not being told that there's space syphilis uh flooding the bay there's an eight ball there we go and uh yeah sutux you you run up on this um and uh, as a meta thing someone not everybody watches every show not even our audience especially not our players. So um, uh, Commander Sutex is coming into this a bit cold, which is the whole point. McRaven and McGraven are both standing locked forehead to forehead, and a, an energy field is, is glowing around them. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to take out my medical tricorder and try to get a reading on that. Oh, Commander, it's so good to see you. Uh, I, I, you know, I really wish that I could have been there when you got on uh, board, but, uh, this is, um, I've been dealing with this. This is crazy. That, that, that's all right. I'm, I'm just glad to be here now. And to be honest, I can't tell you how many times I've come aboard and been totally ignored. So, you know, no skin off my all nose. Right. Hey, you know what? You've got, you've got just the attitude that I need on this ship, you know, uh, the other CMO, uh, you know, I don't even know why Starfleet told me that I needed two CMOs, but it was something about the injury reports from my last command. I, I was going to say, I, you know, I, recently I was head of Starfleet Medical during, doing my torturous duty that all of us CMOs eventually have to go through. And, uh, yeah, I saw the reports on, on your command and it didn't look like you had enough medical staff to deal with those issues. Yeah, it felt like felt like I always had a CMO, but they were never there. That's a deep cut. Shots That's fired. a deep cut. <laughs> you want to put I, I, I said it. I said what I said. I'm here. Uh, come come at me, everyone. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, yeah. Um, Apparently they were lovers and I think I'm no medical expert, but I think their inability to reconcile their love has created some sort of energy field around them. Mm. Well, I'm going to examine that field with this medical tricorder first and see what type of energy it is. And if it's, if it's biological or maybe it's something else, I don't know yet. Oh God, yo, yo, man, we man, you, you always sneak up on me. Huh. Oh, I brought you some coffee. Oh, thank you. I am so tired. You would be, you'd be surprised, but this, uh, this is a long, long, long hours. Yeah, I can tell. I have some kind of drink. What am I doing? 
that, that sound plays as you as you drink your coffee. Why is my coffee making sounds? I don't. And, I don't know. But oh, while I'm thinking of it, since I heard that sound, it triggered something in me. Does anybody <laughs> have a barnacle anywhere on their person right now, or a barnacle-like feature that wasn't there before this day? Um. I want to reach I, into my. I'll I want to reach looking, into my pocket. I'll keep looking at my tricorder, but I just I want to see if anybody's got any weirdness. I want to reach into my pocket and be like, I found this in the hallway, and it's just an oozing, um, uh, barnacle. It looked weird, and it smelled kind of salty. So I was gonna try it in a soup. Oh God, no! You don't want to do that. Really, I've been reading some really interesting cultural recipe books from one of our uh, well, one of our new members of our crew. I uh, swears by yeah, it. Swears by it. Well, those happen to be some type of disease that their race gets, and they tend to pick the barnacles. the The older ones think that it's good to pick the barnacles off and make soups mm. out of them. But I haven't determined yet if they, there's a problem with cross-species propagation of those things. And, in fact, what different species might have issue with. You know, We don't know how it's going to react with a human or a Vulcan or a Denobulan or a Horda or an elephant or other pachyderm. That's an oddly specific uh, thing to bring up. Uh... Yeah, and... And now that I mention it, you don't have any pachydermish crew members, do you? Oh, well. I have to warn you that I may not be able to treat Not them. since the accident of Stardate 47385. Uh, okay. Well, just to be sure be sure and have <laughs> your yeoman let me know if, if you know of any coming on board. Because I, I would probably take the turbo lift one level up to continue walking where i'm going odd but okay got it. I, it, it yeah it's a very specific issue that i have indeed but it is my one of my issues listen doc i, I don't have any articles or anything but i i just i just feel like i'm glowing oh yeoman you Good you Lord, are you glowing are. yeah it's kind of wow. weird all right. Well, let me finish this medical tricorder reading of McRaven and McGraven, and then I'll check out that illumination situation. I'm gonna put on some shades. It's really bright. See how I did that? I did a I did a rhyme with the names, and then a illumination situation. That's yeah. That's dope. Yeah. When you're 300 years old, you have to amuse yourself some way, Captain. So and you don't look a day over 295. That, that's what I've been told. Well, I did have a little bit of time dilation mixed in, so I don't know if I'm exactly 300. Most denobulans make it to around 300, so if I die on you, again, apologize. No, it's okay. I think that's why we brought a spare. <laughs> Perhaps that's <laughs> why you have two chief medical officers, indeed. All right. So th this tricorder reading, let me see what it says. Oh, uh, yeah, that is something you have to make up, yeah. isn't it? Uh, yeah, so uh, this is going to be something weirder. So there's going to be some in, uh, insight weird. and medical. All right. And it's going to take a couple of successes. And every, and you can you can spend momentum if you want to buy extra dice. Well, my insight um, is my best attributes. I'm probably in good shape here between medical okay. and insight. 20s are, 20s are always good. <laughs> all right a three and a seven all right uh you can't come up with any focus right wow. well xenobiology is a general yeah they're xenoey they're zeny i mean everybody's a xeno xeno to a denobulan i suppose so yeah that's, that's kind I, of I a go, really a broad that. area you know it's not as yep. it's not as specific as some um, you know who's version. <laughs> no, it is not. You know the, the the company whose name shall not be spoken. 
No, they're they're out of business. They're fine. <laughs> uh, there we go. Um, yeah, no, you uh, you do uh, you do get the. So how many successes did you do? Just two. 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 Okay. And, and no we could. 20s. Oh no, no, you did a you did a focus, so that you got three. Um, you pulled a critical because the the you I assume your medical is more than three. Yeah, it's a five. So if you roll below your medical on a uh, uh, when there's that it increases the crit range right. essentially. The, so your focus gives you that. Uh, you got three three points. You only needed two. Um, so what can happen is you can either bank the momentum or use it to ask a, a question related to the thing. Um, uh, and I have to answer real, relatively straightforwardly. So, um, yeah, it looks like they're, they're, they're locked in the middle of uh, some sort of a psychic impasse. Um, and also one of them appears to be, you know, a bit disease ridden. Uh, with some kind, something that looks a little bit biological, a little bit mechanical. Hmm. And it, it looks like maybe um, the, the um, and the disease is, is uh, trying to make it over to McRaven, even though they're, they're just locked head to head. So the, the disease is trying to, to, you know, essentially uh, make it to that one spot on their foreheads that are pressing together. They're going to, he's going to try and get him pregnant that way, I guess. Ah, so this, this could be something that I, I shouldn't necessarily break apart because if it's got a psychiatric component, I could damage their minds. Or you could psychiatric component, you say, uh, uh Commodore Civic, I think we need a mind meld. On the space. Wait. Am I? Well, it, would I even? It may be good. It may be dangerous. I I wouldn't want to get him I, stuck in there. I mind. concern about There's some extreme passion here. Yes, and I concern about the the field that is around them. Um, and uh, with that, uh, Cvex uh, can I just. Wave a, uh, I, I guess he would probably still have a, um, an engineering tricorder on him. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have an engineering kit, engineering tricorder. I'll hand it over to you. Uh, I also gave you, like, the engineering kit as ah. well. So that'll make things one step easier or give you an extra free die. Okay. So, yum, 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 yum. So you're waving it over them specifically? Yeah, yeah, uh, focusing more on the field that's clearly around them. Okay, fields that are clearly around. Do you have do you have weird fields that are clearly around someone? Focus. Um, <laughs> electroplasma power systems. That looks electrical and plasmy. It's all it's all splashy. Or, so I will give okay. you that. Yeah, the EPS, and, the EPS uh, grid just runs at, off uh, pure lost. <laughs> hot hot plasma um so we've got uh what i need is uh your it's definitely either engineering or science it's up Chill to you i think they're both the same for you no and reasonable okay and reason sorry Boop. uh two successes okay um yeah you've got you, you know this is definitely this is a bioelectric field uh, it's generated by strong, strong, passionate emotions and spite. Ooh. So, you know, it's it's sort of, it's it's not as, it's it's almost as much spitefulness as you've experienced from uh, whenever you've tried to deal with a Vulcan High Okay, Command. and is uh, the field dangerous? Do you know? Okay. Uh, in which case, uh, well, Captain, uh, all... Only a Vulcan could do this. Odd as a request, uh, as that may be. Oh, hold on. Uh, I'm going to send something in the chat to you guys. If you, if I don't know if you're bothering to read it. I mean, if you're going to point it out. Ah. Okay. And um. Oh. Okay. Well then. 
tricorder just came through with a with an extra little handy dandy. Uh, uh, I do not recommend that anybody touch or come in contact with the field, as it may prove most fatal. I knew something um, felt funny. Unless, of course, you're a Vulcan. I don't make up the rules. Uh, and, uh, well, all things being fair, I wanted to do this last week. <laughs> and uh, Spock will, or Sivik uh, will go over to uh, McRaven. And, yeah. Put it, oh, are you going to put a gun no. to his head? Oh, I thought you were doing no, that. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, well, I guess these aren't as obvious. Down <laughs> Does here. the gun shoot chocolate? Okay, you're gonna. <laughs> I like the idea of like you melding with yourself. It has to happen. So I'll I'll put my hand on his face and my thoughts to your thoughts. Okay. okay. Um. Damn it. Okay. Uh, does anyone? I'll speak for McRaven because I think it would be. Uh, uh, I, I, I yeah, I don't, want, I, I don't want I I don't I don't want the ire of of putting something in another player's mouth. That's your that's your yeah. job. Um, okay. So so uh, as a thought for that, Talk maybe uh, maybe see that gets locked into this field too. Oh, I think you you've been locked in these fields before, if I recall. That was a thing that happened to you all the time. Uh what you do is. You get some. You, I mean, you, you're melding with him, and you're moving your way past the the level of dickishness that is that is these guys. And uh, I need a thing. We're just gonna do this. No kitchen, right here. We get to get, oh, could always be... save it for next session. What Cvex saw. So. Uh, oh, we are at this, aren't are we? Uh, we the... We've got a little time. No, we've no, no, no. We, we we got time, but we don't like. It's not something that has to be addressed this session. Next right, session. like we can cut, we can cut to something else uh, and uh, and play out the next twenty some minutes and uh, co- okay. pick up pick up with um, this next time. <laughs> I think we should do that. Um, do it. Damn, everyone else is. Does like, anybody notice that the yeoman's glow is now doing something more glowy? Yeah, I, I notice he's got a feel. Yeoman, I told you if you were ever doing any kind of weird spectral stuff that you needed to report it immediately. Well, I wasn't planning it. It just kind of happened when this all started with those dudes that were arguing. I mean, I think they were doing a little bit more than arguing, but I th- there's a lot of reading between the lines. Like I said, it feels pretty funny to me. You want some popcorn? Uh, yeah. I've got some ketchup in my pocket. No. <laughs> yeah. That, does that field around the yeoman look similar to the bioelectric field around the McRaven McGraven? Well, the graphic department only had so much money. Okay. Uh, Adobe After Effects cost more than you'd think. I- uh, yeah. So oh, I know they're pricey. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it looks. I I would say it looks very similar. I'm gonna take a read um, reading on it just to see if it has any wavelengths that match or whatever. Okay. And one other thing is that uh, I'm gonna you you guys have a kind of spare momentum floating around. Guys, yeah, I, um, I saved my last one so. Okay. Oh, you saved it. Yeah. What I'm also going to say is uh, we don't really have an engineer anymore because he was supposed to do that. But anyway, um, you know, Pond, are you going to be okay with with having Civic at least sidelined for the moment? I mean, I mean, at least now he won't I be know. writing in that stupid little data pad every five seconds. Okay, I see the method. Too oh, he already has. <laughs> you know, he has. So, um, uh, um, uh, Good Devil, you may have to spin up a uh, side character if you want to bring him. Uh, just have them come into the set. That's totally fine. Okay. Like, Gorpal could make it down here. Um, or we just leave him where he is, uh, which would be funnier. Um, Ball, 
you uh you you available ball computer hello computer you might yeah you i might can't be, do uh, that dave unavailable yeah um oh god all right uh sutox i guess it comes down to you uh one of the medical scans you got remember how it said it was partially mechanical partially organic yeah right yeah um, you notice that the ship itself is also infected with this, or that seems to be floating around the environment now? Oh, oh no. I'm detecting biological readings merging with the ship, Captain. Similar to the readings, the biological component of what's going on between McRaven and McGrave, McGraven and McGraven. But is this, is this in addition to the barnacles, or is this the same thing as the barnacles? I'm not sure. When did they start arguing and butting heads? So oh, just uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. Hmm. Well, and the very first thing I encountered when I entered sick bay, hoping to go to my office for a quick nap, was people with barnacles. So it could be related. Can I compare? I'm going to compare my scans of the barnacles with the biological component of this field. Okay. Um, that's going to just be, uh, throw, a, throw a bit of, let's do a, a, a science and a reason. All right. Man, this is science really a Monday, is, Doc. Let's see. Science is pretty good. I have a four in science. Reason is 10, which is decent. So let's see. Yeoman, did you just say it's muggy? A Five and a three, so two successes. And the science oh, right. one was, I guess, was a critical. Was yep. a do, you have a, do, you have a, do you have a thing to, um, do you have a focus that would apply to this analysis? Or just throwing it in xenobiology? Um, I guess xenobiology and maybe because I had the momentum that I didn't ask enough questions about it last time, I can now use that. To... <laughs> sure, that'll happen. Okay. Uh, that gives you that gives you a total of three. You only need a one or two. Um, yeah, they they look like uh, they're they are holy. Well, actually, here's the deal: two of vote players. Are these related phenomena or unrelated phenomena? Oh, I thought we yes ended into being related, one hundred percent. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So they are. <laughs> they've been declared. They've been declared. Uh. uh They've been declared as being, uh, what's it called? They're 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 related. Uh, um, Captain, I'm this is not flip good. Back to, I'm going to briefly flip back to Medical Bay with the barnacles, both of them. Both of them. Okay. Uh, I've got to just make this a new scene. Copy. This is why this is why I failed out of community college. Sutox, you're gone. Trait Med Bay. God knows what's going on here. Tell um, I keep telling you, just put tartar sauce on it. It'll ease the itching. Yeah, and uh the barnacles are now glowing. Oh great. You gave us a case of the glowies. Well, this is just perfect. Now I can finally read at night. I can turn off the nightlight. And you hate that. Say it keeps you up at night. We sleep in a fully lit hallway. I mean, I don't think that's the only thing keeping me up. <coughs> uh, XB12, are you there at all? Or are you? Uh, did you wander off? Well, if I am there, I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> You're just terrified with your be. lollipop in your mouth. <laughs> uh, are you going to self-rescue or attempt to leave, or what's uh, what's going through your head while they're fighting? Mom! Mom! Okay, Cameron. Yes. 
This is happening. Um, oh, these would be all horrible things. Okay, I'll, no, that would be bad. Okay, it is, yes. No. Someone no, appears. Oh, no. Hey, Talbot, it's the Ambassador Loxana Troy. I heard she's is, is, uh, super down. If you know what I mean. Uh, Cameron, I, I'm going to decide if, if that really is who it is or if uh, it's somebody who Michelle Barrett plays. <laughs> I imagine uh, it's she just refused to roll. I imagine it's just somebody that Michelle Barrett Michelle Barrett plays oh. because I think Ambassador Troy has probably joined the Great Beyond by now. She's okay. with the Great Bird. Okay, Maybe so not. I mean I don't know. How long oh, how long do they live? live? Oh, they live as long as it's needed to be in the next series. <laughs> Talbot, I want to give uh, her they my barn enough to be so bad. So bad. So bad. That's basically it. That's basically how they wrote Picard. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. So it, oh, it's, actually, it's, actually then, it's actually then her twin sister, Ishara Troy. Oh, She's man. even crazier <laughs> than my <laughs> sister was. Yeah, is she even crazier or what? Or is she the actual sensible I, one? I don't know. I mean, Ishara Yar seemed to be a little bit more stable than Tasha. Oh, and she was a murder machine. So, yeah, but she, I mean, she was, she seemed to be more stable. She could deal with her issues differently than the way Tasha did. So Ishara Troy maybe is a little bit less down than <laughs> what Sana. She's, she's tactical ambassador Ishara Troy. You decide what that means. <laughs> tactical ambassador. We're just, we're just, we're flying by the seat of our pants here. She's tactical ambassador. You know, it, 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 you know, Ambassador Fox was that way. Ambassador Fox was a tactical ambassador. He he pulled a gun and just just shot people when he needed to. Um, yeah. So uh, Troy came in to help XB. She's not his real mom, though, is she? No, you rescued me. Well, I think that's kind of racist. Yeah, real family is the family you make. Mom, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, I'm here now, dear. I'm here now. Doctor gave me some. What have you? Doctor gave me some medicine. Got I got a lollipop and and medicine inside of me that made me feel better. Good, good. So the doctor seemed to have treated you. Oh, he said, did. He tell you what else? He's a what great doctor. Do? Uh, no, he mostly was talking to those dudes over there about their barnacles. Oh, hey, that's some yeah. medically private information. Don't be telling everybody you know about it. I'm just five. Well, I, I can see some glowing splotches on you, so I don't know that I they're believe. barnacles. I'm not a doctor. Yeah, you are. I'm a, tactical, I'm a tactical ambassador, not a you doctor. You like what you see? My mom is important. I... <laughs> I only like looking at charts of military movements, being a tactical ambassador. I like to train new members of the Federation in combat methods. But I do like to attend weddings on Beta Z, even though they aren't mine, just to check out all the nudity. Well, if you ever get invited and you need a dish to bring to the dinner, Boy, do I have a recipe for you. Well, I'll have to read your cookbook sometimes. A lot of barnacles. Okay, and back in the mm. engineering. Do you guys I'm still did, just... I'm did just did you assign who was playing Corwin? Or we just, uh, like, picked traits for him. I think Corwin was you. Oh, well, no wonder the scene was so dead. I didn't know. It was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were assigned to Corwin. I, I just you said to come up with some traits. So. I I think I thought we, I was throwing out uh, traits for whoever was going to play. 
Yep. <laughs> we oh, were. sorry about that. No, I think the idea is we stick with them being the most uninteresting people. Just standing around and being psychic vampires. Oh, so you have a hand? Hmm. Yeah, well, the deal. You know, I use my hands to pump iron. Oh. Section 31, Section 31 has the best weight room. Let me tell you, the best. And if I was in command of this ship, I would order everyone to be pumping weights in the hollow deck using the Section 31 weightlifting method hosted by Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's a 20th century demigod. <clears throat> That's that. And and I may add pre eugenics. Therefore, his muscles are real. That sounds terrible. No, oh. it's it's the best. It's the oh, best. It sounds. Delicately fascinating. Why don't you tell me more of this Arnold Schwarzenegger? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. He's he is my idol. I've watched all the old holo tapes. Total Recall, <laughs> Predator, True Lies, Terminator. He's just, he's a demigod. You know, we don't have gods on my planet, but he's certainly a demigod. And to think that he built himself up from almost nothing. I mean, it's just, it's amazing what pumping iron can do. And, you know, Section 31, like I said, has just got the best. And we can pump you up. Mm. Yes. Interesting. My turtle friend. Oh, yes. <laughs> what do you have to say to this uh, strapping man? Uh, uh, quite frankly, I lost track of why he's even here. Uh, anyway. Oh, maybe he could <laughs> just heard, repeat himself this pump. time. Maybe a little wow. louder. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sure. And uh, Gorpo will fi finish the last few uh, bits of command. And all right, job, job's done. I'm going back to sick, Bray. Wait, I was <laughs> supposed to give that order. Oh. Get back to sick. How delightfully dramatic. Yes, please continue. Fight. <laughs> That's not a fight. It's an order. I'm ordering you, Gorple. Get back. Are to you going to let him talk to you yeah. like that? And Gorple salutes with the uh, the detached hand and marches off. Oh my! <laughs> and and. Uh... Thank you all for uh, whatever that was, because uh, this is what Ooh. happens when DM Dave does. Show the, up. It, it, can, 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 uh, maybe that's what we should have named the ship, the USS whatever that was. <laughs> whatever that was. Whatever that was. <laughs> what I love is or it, 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 it went from being the most uninteresting scene to the best scene. <laughs> the best scene. <laughs> Um, That's talent, yeah, right? and uh, what? Are, <laughs> yep, I'm 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 certainly Back hoping to. that broadcast is coming up with it. I'm gonna have to yes. make a character sheet for Corwin now because he's kind of an interesting. I do guy. like setting. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he could just repeat himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god, my face is hurting. <laughs> oh hey, that's how we know it's time to stop. Uh, and what I want to say is thanks everyone uh, who stuck with us through this. Uh, I mean, we may have had one person in, in, in the audience and that's all that counts. That's just what we do Two who weren't my mom. Um, so what I want to say is uh, Tuesday uh, tomorrow Conan uh, season three, episode 13, the price of action. The party uses children, sex workers, and drunken mercenaries to find the, the men who attacked them at the poolside. Okay, on the poor side. Sorry, I like the poolside better. Uh, and they finally figure out who the keeper of souls is. It was really a drive by is. fruiting. Was it a drive by fruiting? It's a drive by fruiting. 
Um, Wednesday, Call of the Never- Nether Deep must must continue. Uh, do you want to say anything uh, about that, uh, Good Devil? For no uh, no reason, I'm gonna put. Well, there's no spot? plug for it because we didn't think it was gonna happen until today. So, it, yeah, my bad. You got it. Okay, you, do, do it live. Do it it's, live. Uh, purple it, Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the 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 party probably gonna fuck things up in the Emerald Grotto. Be sure to tune in and uh, watch all the NPCs get all the glory. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Yep, that's how we like to run the game. Uh, that was basically. Oh, I thought you just described this show. Um, and then on Thursday at eight PM, we have community night, preparing for a new show that will be following on Thursday, uh, which no one's going to talk about because we don't want to get you all excited and then um, have you actually t- tune in. And then uh, finally, uh, join Simon and Rufus. For Star Trek Adventures, uh, will they eat crimp chocolate cookies from Ikea and have a story that must include evacuating an entire planet, Maki shenanigans, and the officer has one more thing to say before the underling leaves Keesh the room. Quiche shenanigans? Jo- Keesh, oh, ma- Maki. Ma- ma- Got it. I, 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 I thought I heard you say quiche shenanigans, and I'm like, who took my quiche? <laughs> Got to find out. I know. I think that's going to be next week, uh, our next episode for this season. Uh, also, so join us for the episode Clean Up on Isle Cisco. Uh, and that's on Friday uh, at 6.30 p.m. Uh, I'm hoping we have a raid of some kind. It's going. Looks like we're raiding Rachel Messer. Get raided. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, broadcast was busy dealing with some things. So while you're over there, join them. Enjoy them. Spam them in the chat. Let them know that we are here and we're not. We we don't smell as bad as we look. They're Extra barnacles. Things. Tell them about Extra the barnacles. barnacles. If you do one thing in this raid, go in there and talk about the barnacles. Also, ask them about one word that they'd like to use. And then ask everything. them why that word is barnacles. Well, it's that word barnacles. It wasn't barnacles. <laughs> we tried it. It's a secret word. Secret broadcast words. 